want to talk about uh, workers' self-directed enterprises. The idea here is for enterprises to be transformed, indeed for all workplaces, whether they're organized as enterprises or households or state institutions, that the work process is radically organized internal to the enterprise. The idea here is that the workers displace and replace the capitalists with themselves. That the workers will begin to function in a double capacity. Whatever particular tasks they do inside the workspace, they will now, in addition to that, have a job description that also includes running the enterprise, making the decisions what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, and what to do with the profits. To make the image as concrete as I can at the beginning, Monday to Thursday from 9 to 5, you come and you do your specific task in the division of labor of the enterprise. On Friday, you come to work, and all day long with the other workers, you have meetings where you decide what to produce, how to produce, where to produce, and what to do with the profits. Since modern capitalism is organized mostly as a corporation, the summary way to describe this is that the workers become their own board of directors. We propose a public employment program, therefore on a mass basis, funded by the federal government. The funds for it will be raised by moving the taxes back to what they were in the 50s and 60s. But they will be an employment program with a radical difference. The bulk of the money will be used to provide capital to unemployed workers who will be provided also with the assistance to begin and establish their own self-directed enterprises in order to do the following. Provide Americans with jobs and an immense incentive they don't have now to secure those jobs because it'll be their own enterprises. Number two that it will provide all Americans with a concrete example of what such enterprises represent as a new possibility. In the language that Americans like, it will be for the first time to provide Americans with freedom of choice. You can choose from now on whether you want to work in a top-down capitalist enterprise or one of these new kinds. It will create a new labeling system for all products. Is this the product of an old line hierarchical capitalist enterprise? Pew or a new cooperative worker control. It's a little bit like buying regular coffee or fair traded coffee, only now it'll be fairly produced coffee. Number three, it will be presented in the United States as the democratization of enterprise. A powerful argument will be made that American political democracy has always been purely formal and never real because it was based on an economic system that was the negation of democracy and that to realize actual democracy requires that it begin at the workplace, which is, most, which is the place where most adults spend most of their time in their life. And finally, we are taking a heed of a law passed some years ago in Italy called the Marcona Law. And if you, what? Makura Laws, my, my apologies. We don't know the details very much. It's the idea that inspires us. And if we understand the idea correctly, and please correct me if I have this wrong, uh, the Italian government, this law has been in effect for quite a while, provides an alternative or a choice to unemployed people when they become unemployed. You can either go on the dole and get your weekly for however long you're allowed to, or you get the entire three years up front as a fund, so long as you get other workers to make the same decision, and then the government provides you with that lump sum to start your own business as a collective of workers. Fine, that's what we'll run with. And it's very interesting in the United States when we explain to people that we're not the first to come up with a plan. Here's a concrete plan to do that. So here's my conclusion, to make it as bold as I can. I don't think the American working class, I obviously wouldn't speak for anybody else, and I, I can't speak for the American working class either, but I can, I can pretend to be able to do that. I don't think the American working class is going to struggle the way they did in the 30s for a reformist program that they have now witnessed is insecure even when you win it. You struggle very hard, a long time, and you achieve something which is then undone because you didn't take the next step. 
In the 1930s, the trade unions, the socialists, and the communists struggled between a revolutionary program to try to transform capitalism and a reformist program to win social security, unemployment insurance, public employment. And they all made the decision to support the reformist program, even the communists and socialists. Okay, we did that. But to go to the American working class and propose that again, we'll get from them the, uh, the understandable response, which we Americans like to give to many things, no thank you, been there, done that. Not gonna do that again. And the same is true for, for traditional socialism. The way a new socialism and a new kind of radical politics in the United States might get going is if it explained and focused on the transformation of the enterprise as the unmet, unfinished, neglected dimension of the radical transformations of the past that are needed not only for their own sake, but as the only way to secure the reforms that were won in the past so we don't go back as we are now to the time before and have to start all over again. So it is for us a central political, economic, analytic, and programmatic focus on workers becoming their own board of directors.